What's up guys? Welcome back to another Gigi video. And today we will be going over the differences and similarities between two different tiers of creator motherboards. And we'll see if it's worth the over $250 price difference. All right, so to establish the motherboards I have here, here we have the ProArt B760 Creator Wi-Fi, and then on the left we have the Z790 Creator Wi-Fi. I'll also be looping some information about the ProArt B760 DDR4 version for some more comparisons. To sort out the differences between these two motherboards, the obvious, we have the different chipsets, right? The Z790 and B760. But let's dig into the features these actually provide. And just like my last gaming versus creator motherboard video, Go check that out if you haven't already. The main difference isn't the VRM system, it's not the VRM cooling, but it's connectivity. For PCIe lanes, this is one of the main differences. Apart from the 16 plus four your CPU provides, each chipset supports a different amount. B760 adds an additional 14 PCIe 4.0 lanes, and Z790 supports an additional 24 PCIe 4.0 lanes. For most basic video editors, the B760 is gonna be fine, but if you're an intense video editor and you're using PCIe expansion cards, sound cards, capture cards, those 24 additional you get on the Z790 will make a difference. But also generally for Z790 chipsets, you'll get more capability for faster USB ports, but that's more subjective to the back panel IO and the, your specific motherboard. Also, this is minor, but the B760 chipset does not allow you to overclock. Now, moving on to the more specific differences of these two motherboards. Two categories that I'll put it into. One, you'll get features on the high-end motherboard you don't get on the B760, and you'll generally get faster ports. For example, starting off with Ethernet, the B760 Creator Wi-Fi, although very, very good, it has a one gigabit per second in and a 2.5 gigabit per second in. This is great if you wanna have internet for the one gigabit and then 2.5 gig can be used for a NAS setup. But with the Z790 motherboard, you get a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port and a 10 gigabit ethernet port. 10 gig is a standard for a lot of NAS or network attached storage systems, and it lets you directly edit off of the NAS, which is a lot simpler for workflow purposes. And then for both motherboards, you also get Wi-Fi 6E capability. But if you're going with the B760 Creator DDR4 version, it does not come with Wi-Fi, but it still has the same one gig and 2.5 gig ethernet capability. As for the motherboard itself, it's fairly similar. The power delivery is relatively the same, and then you have the front panel I.O., which is also similar. You have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 I love that they included features like this on both of these motherboards because it lets you route it to your front panel I.O. on your computer so you can directly connect it, and it gives you 20 gigabit per second capability for really fast file transfers. Both boards also have fairly different storage capabilities. With the B760, you're getting three M.2 slots and four SATA ports, but with the Z790, you're getting four M.2 slots and six SATA ports. When you populate all of the M.2 slots, you're disabling some of the SATA ports, but this scales equally across both, so the Z790 still has more SATA ports that you can add more storage drives and, you know, things like that. It's pretty useful for video editors like me who are constantly transferring files, they need a lot of drives, archive drives, cache drives, all that sort of stuff. Referencing from what I was saying before about the PCIe lanes, you'll see that the B760 has less PCIe slots, while the Z790 has more. So you can add more sound cards, graphics cards, capture cards, PCIe and VME enclosures, if you've seen those before, if you're a video editor, you know. Both of these support DDR5, but the B760 Creator has a variant that's a DDR4 version. So let's get into the differences between DDR4 and DDR5 for creator purposes. So since DDR5's launch, there wasn't really a huge difference between you know, gaming applications, but this really changes when you go into the video editing and creator space. For performance differences, you see a small difference in the actual experience of editing your photos, editing your videos, Adobe After Effects, things like that. But the main difference you're gonna see is in video transcoding. Meaning when you're creating a lot of proxies, exporting videos, you're gonna see a lot bigger of an increase in speed especially. DDR5 also allows for more future-proofing because as video editing applications, photo editing applications start to update, they'll become more optimized to the DDR5 platform. So moving on to the back panel I.O. again, 
Again, you see my last gaming versus creator motherboard review. The ProArt Z790 has two DisplayPort inputs. These DisplayPort inputs output to two USB Type-C Thunderbolt ports. Meaning, when you have your graphics card, you plug in the display port into the input and it outputs it from the Thunderbolt. This has advantages for creators who have multiple monitors and they want to daisy chain a Thunderbolt port from each monitor, just makes it cleaner. And some displays only offer Thunderbolt as well, so you have the capability with that. Meanwhile, with the B760 Creator Wi-Fi, you'll get a USB-C port, but it's only a data port, it's nothing else. With the Z790 for back panel I.O. again, you'll get six USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, meaning they're the faster variant. With the B760, you'll get more USB ports, but they're all a little slower, which means you can transfer files a little quicker, a little more seamless video editing experience, photo editing, whatever you're doing. So, what do I think? The B760 comes around $200, and the Z790 comes around $450. And the other B760 variant comes around $160 to $170. If you're a creator who's solely buying the Pro Art just for the fact that it has, you know, faster ports and those features, I would go to the B760 board, especially because the price difference is so big. But if you're a creator who needs the features, like the 10 gigabit per second, you need the DisplayPort inputs for the Thunderbolt, or you need the extra PCIe lanes and the PCIe slots to add sound cards, capture cards, what I said before, then the Z790 is where you should go. Go with the higher end board because you need the features it offers, not because it has, you know, more bling or it has faster, you know, individual ports. I think ASUS did a really good job with their Pro Art lineup. It really hits the pain point that a lot of us creators feel when editing videos. Sometimes it gets really frustrating with other motherboards. But yeah, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll respond to every one in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe, follow my other accounts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.